That is an awesome. It's a needle tip. This was my first bow hunt of the season. It's about October the 15th, and I'm walking into my stand, getting ready to cut up the power line here. Uh, I've got a stand down on a little spring branch where I see a lot of activity, and I hope you all enjoy the hunt. I'm walking out to the truck. I wanted to show you this. This is the power line I'm on, but this um, pole here, this power line pole, look what the bears have done to it. All the scratching. You can see the marks up there. This is about six feet up. Well, between six and seven feet, because the bottom of it is about where my head is, and I'm six feet tall, so. I guess they're marking their territory, sharpening their nails, doing something. But they're, te they're tearing this pole up, boy. That's for sure. I get up in the tree, and I'm there for maybe an hour before I see some action.
big, big bears are kind of ugly. But I'm pretty sure I got a good shot on that one. He was so close. For a second there, I thought he was going to walk up. I thought he was going to walk up my just <laughs> on my tree stand. makes the fourth bear I've gotten in my life. I didn't start seeing bears on the farm until I was in my 30s. I killed my first one five years ago now. So I've pretty much gotten one every year except for one year in there. And that one year stand I just let it go but that was a pretty looking bear I like the way they look when they're about 200 pounds between 175 200 pounds I think they look pretty good they get bigger than that they start to get saggy <laughs> that's exciting it's my first uh, first bow hunt of the year and I had two bears walk right by my right by my stand. I'm gonna sit here and wait a little bit. And I'm gonna check over here, check my um, my bolt and see if it's got blood on it, which I think it does. And then we'll kind of go from there. So, stay tuned. So I hmm, made sure this thing's filming. Man, it got dark. I don't even know if you can see me. So I called in reinforcements to come help me get this thing. Um, it's so awkward always, you know, dragging game through the woods. So I called a buddy of mine. I guess he knows when I call this time of day. Typically, I call him to help me get something out of the woods. But um, I'm going to lower my, my crossbow and go over here and check this bolt. And then I'm going to walk out to my truck. Um, where I've got better lighting and stuff. I'm going to wait for him to get here, then we'll come in and um, start looking for this bear. So, anyway. Hopefully a successful hunt. We'll see. Let's get over to my boat. There it is. Let me get my headlamp. Let's see what we got down here. I can already see stuff all over it. So there you go. Nice amount of blood. Complete pass through. All right, so. A memory card filled up on me <laughs> but I also didn't have the brightest setting on my uh, my headlamp so like I said 400 grain carbon arrow from 10 point with the Illuminoc and then um, you can see some pretty rich blood on there really bright red um, and I'm got the Spitfire 
one three quarter inch cutting diameter and then I'm shooting the 10 point turbo XLT2 which is 175 pound draw weight I think it shoots about 400 feet per second is the arrows bolt speed on it so I think a pretty good setup I'm pretty excited about it uh, like I said I've killed four bears now hopefully this will be the fourth one I'm counting on killing this one but I've killed four bears so far with this crossbow and uh, I've probably had it about six years and I've killed a few handful of deer to be honest since the bear started showing up I haven't seen nearly as many deer and most of the deer I've killed I've killed with uh, with the rifle of, of late since I got the crossbow so like I said, now that this is a little bit brighter, I'm actually surprised how little blood I see. But he got thumped and he took off. So what I've found in the past is that it takes him a little while before the blood really gets to going. So hopefully he'll be easy to track, but... I'm pretty sure he's about 35 yards over in this cornfield. So, anyway, I'm going to walk on out, wait for my buddy to come, and we'll go look for this thing. We're up in the cornfield now. We found the bear. I'm not sure how big he is yet. I'm thinking he's about 200 pounds. We can just angle to the edge. Yeah. And then, um, let's get this big boy up. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> All right. You gotcha. All right. <laughs> get a little, a little more to the right to be out of all that stuff. You got it? Thank you.